there was no elbow room. <laughs> you were literally on top of each other. It was just not very practical or efficient. For the Anoka County License Center in Ham Lake, it's literally a case of that was then and this is now. Even though the office only moved next door, it's made all the difference in the world for customers and employees alike. Along with John Lenars, Paula Anderson manages all five Anoka County License Centers. This space allows, first of all, it allows for comfortable seating should there be waiting. It allows for the customers to move around. It allows for space and privacy for transactions at the counter, which, which didn't exist in the old space. And we do have some, some transactions that do require a certain amount of privacy. Um, and, and this gives us that opportunity. It also lets the staff get, have breathing room. They're not on top of each other. You know, we're all a sm uh, family here, but you can take that a little far sometimes, so. <laughs> the old lobby was only about 75 square feet and the quarters were cramped. The new office brings an open feel and full accessibility. And all the Anoka County License Centers offer more than just license plates. I'm actually very excited about the new services that we have. We are now selling park permits for Anoka County. Um, and we are also accepting property tax payments. So on top of motor vehicle transactions and driver's license transactions, we're doing the park permits, we're doing the property tax, we're doing DNR transactions, game and fish transactions, notary services. You can apply for your marriage license here. You can get your birth and death certificate here. There's just a multitude of services that we offer. And I think that's part of our, our plan is to make it convenient for all the citizens of Anoka County to be able to come into one location and do as much there as they can without having to travel. In this economy, efficiency is key. So the license centers are constantly brainstorming about what else they can offer, what they can do next. That's something that we talk about probably two or three times a month. What else can we offer? We're looking at hopefully being able to add state park permits to to this. Um, maybe rather than just accepting uh, property tax, we would maybe want to be able to actually process them here so that it's, uh, as it is with a motor vehicle, it's on the spot. It's, it's credited immediately and that gives the citizens a good feeling when they walk out the door to know that it's a done deal. So.